The materials you'll need to go and build this clock are as shown on your screen. I'll give you a moment to go and grab those materials now. All right, let's begin. Now, usually I would just simply dig into the ground itself, but for the sake of understanding exactly what is underneath, let's build this up. You're building a little bit of a trench right here, just going on up. You need two blocks of space right there, and then you're just gonna build this up. One more layer with four blocks going along both sides, just like that, and one block at the end. We'll continue to build this up as well. One more layer, and we're gonna put three signs going up along this side right here. So one there, there, and there. Now let's continue to build this tower up here. Now, if there is other designs that you plan to use, you may want to build this a little bit higher if you want to use more cobwebs. And now you just put a temporary block right here. And this is where you're going to be putting the dropper. And you'll be putting it on the face of this block. But make sure that it is pointing down, just like that. Now you can delete that temporary block and put a hopper pointing into that dropper. Now that we have this shape here, we can throw our water on into the build. So you're putting one right there and you can fill it all the way up to the top. Now, if you have a whole bunch of buckets of water, that is great, but you can also use quite easily kelp and you just put one bucket of water down uh, at the very top of this and then just build your kelp all the way up to the top. In this case, I don't have any on hand, so I am just going to go and fill this up from water going from the bottom to the very top. Now that that is done, we're going to build this up here, and this is where our little bit of a trench is going to go. We're bringing the item up from the bottom and into here. You can put another bucket of water, and we're going to put one more sign right there. And that's just to prevent all of this, just to prevent, including that block, from allowing the item from flying off into the distance. It's now time to start putting in the redstone. Now for this part, you really need to make sure that you are using solid blocks. On each side of this, you're just going to put a block right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is what our trip wire hooks are going to be connected to. So you just put one on each side and we're going to grab our string and connect those together. At this point, we are just going to throw down a redstone torch on top of this block. We're going to throw a block on top of that torch and to the side and then some redstone dust on top of this block right here. There we have it. That part of the circuit is complete. Now, a nice thing about this little bit here of this circuit is this is your controller block. I'm going to be putting a lever on top of this just to turn it off for now. But if you have another redstone circuit that is running into this, you could use that redstone circuit to turn on and off this clock as needed. The final last two things that we got to do is one, throw down a cobweb right there, and then toss a couple of items into the dropper. Now we can test it, just flip that lever back on, and we can see now that the first items come out of the dropper. We have one more item left, just wait for it to go on down. And there we have it, next one's come out, and that one is passing through, working its way up. This part's a really good test, because you'll know whether or not there's any problems or air gaps in the water. So it's gonna sit there until this one falls down, hits that trip wire hook, then it'll suck that one back in and it'll continue the process just like that. Now just one thing of note, you do not need to use glass for this. You can use whatever block works for you, but these blocks here absolutely need to be solid blocks for this part of the circuit to work. Now if you're interested in how exactly I did this build, there is a video that you can see on the screen now that will explain through all the steps that I took in experimenting to get to this result. 